the Lord. He will. I said he will. He will see you through. Come on and put your hands together. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to be righteousness. We got to be kingdom kids. How many of you know that you're a kingdom kid? Amen. We got benefits in God. But at the same time, we got to learn sometimes just to shut up and let God speak for you. We got to hush our mouth sometimes and just listen to the voice of God. He that has a ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God has to say. Can I get a witness? We got to hear what God is saying. Hallelujah. We got to listen to his command. Thank you, God. We got to listen to what God is saying. Sometimes I, I sit in my house and I begin to pray. I pray for those who don't think that I don't pray for them, but I do. Because I've learned that being, a minute, being in ministry and being a young man for God, you got to learn how to balance yourself, even in ministry, even in normal life. Can I get a witness? Sometimes we want to go out and hang with our friends. They might go dancing. They might go, you know, just to a little clean party sometime. But we always can't go because we know that we have the anointing on our lives. Back, back in the day, back in school, when I was in school, when I was a young guy, I would want to go out and do the things that some of my friends do or some of my classmates do, but I knew that that wasn't my time, that wasn't my calling, that wasn't what God wanted me to do. Some of them used to go out clubbing, I, I can say they ain't never been to the club and don't plan on going, can I get a witness? So much is going on around us, so many young folks, well not even, not just young people, many older people didn't kill, shot up and everything, but we just got to know that no weapon that is formed against us that it won't prosper, it won't work. We just got to learn to stay prayed up in our life. We got to learn how to press towards the mark of the higher calling. I, yes, I'm getting parents, I'm getting critical, and we just don't understand why. We, we wonder why, but God is saying that it's time for you to surrender. It's time for you to get back to praying. It's time to get back to fasting. It's time to do the will of God and not yourself. It's time to put on self and put on the whole heart, the whole armor of God. It's time to be real for God and I'm a lot about it. And being a gospel singer, I've learned that you can't work with it. you can't work with any and everybody in a right about it. You got people that They'll stand outside and do the things that they know that we're not supposed to do. Smoke on the church ground, drink on the church ground. It's time out for that. It's time to get real for God. I've learned that I was taught when you even go out to minister or when you go out to sing, it's time to get real for God. People are tired of playing church. If you look around sometimes, we, we wonder why folks don't come to some of these gospel singers. I'm a gospel singer, I know. Some of these gospel singers because they're not, they're not all into the church no more. they all from the streets. Can I get a witness? They don't want to see people go forward. They, I don't know why I'm going this way. They don't want to see people minister. They want you to jump and scream and holler and, and then go outside and party all night long. I, I come to tell you that it's time out for party. Can I get a witness? It's time to get real for God. It's time to shake you down on your knees and just pray to the Lord. Am I right about it? It's time to give God your whole heart. It's time Trying to give you a whole mind. If you don't sing, sing. But at the same time, minister to the people. It might not be a lot of people here tonight, but it doesn't matter what the crowd is. See, God knew who He wanted to be here. But I came to say tonight that when we're doing our ministry, that when we're singing, when we even stand up here behind the pulpit, because that's the head, can I get a witness? We got to learn how to witness to God. It's, it's time to go back and pull the people out from the streets. Am I right? I wish I had some old saints that don't mind giving God praise. It's time to be real for God. How many real saints do we have in here? See, God is looking for some soldiers now. Can I get a witness out here? God looking for some real soldiers. Me and, me and my group, me and my choir, we had, had a meeting the other night, and we was talking, we were saying that it's time to start 
ministry and instead of just, you know, doing some of the things that the people, some of the people that arrive, I'm not talking about everybody, because everybody, some people might be saved, some people may not be. But it's time to come out of self and start really going forth with God. We're talking about it's time to change the style of music. We try to keep up with time. We're, we're not a pro. We're not people that impress nobody because I don't try to impress nobody. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it out of the will of God. It's time to take off the old man and right about it. So even in ministry, sometimes we walk along on this journey and we wonder why. I know being a leader and being a pastor because I watch my pastor all the time. She don't think I'll be watching her, but I really do. Because I follow her leadership. I follow her commands. I, if she tell me to go and she tell me not to go, I'm going to do. Because it's better It's better that way. Because in life, you never know what God got for you. You never know what God has planned for, for you. But you got to follow his desires. Am I right about it? Is that, anybody know that you got to follow the commandments? We, we sometimes, we stray away. And we want to go this way. And we want to go that way. But we got to stay in the race. Can I get a witness? The race isn't given to the swift, but it's given to the strong. Can I get a witness? It, it's given to the one that endures to the end. How many of you that want to endure to the end? Can I get a witness? We have a lot of hardships. We have a lot of trials. We have a lot of heartaches. But we sometimes cry. Can I get a witness? How many times I have to lay awake at night and just cry, just pray to the Lord? I find myself in tears all the time, Lord. These past couple of months, I find myself just laying there, just tears just falling down my face. I, 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 I be like, Lord, why am I crying? Why am I crying? And I begin to listen to his voice. And he's telling me that I am the way, that I am the truth, I am the life, I got your back. People, everybody ain't meant for you. Everybody ain't meant to go with you. Even when you're walking, even when you're talking, even when you're praying, right. it's time to hold on a little while longer. Right. Back to right. what I was saying about my pastor. Pastors have always taught us that when you've been in ministry, stay humble. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Am I right? Right. We right. got to stay humble in ministry. Right. Because we think we got to be, oh, I'm this and I'm that. My name is all over all flyers and all over Facebook and all over the Internet. And I'm this and I'm that. I'm a big bishop and I'm a big pastor. I'm a big elder. I'm a big evangelist and a big minister. But do you look at that? It's not, that's, that's not what it's about. Can I get a witness? Right. It's about Jesus. Right. It's about spreading the gospel all across the world, all across the nation. Uh, it's about ministry to the folks. Am I right about it? I, I've learned, I learned that in ministry. I, I've learned a lot that when you come into the, when you know that you got the anointing on your life, when you know, when you know that you're in God's will, you're going to have some things that's going to come up your way in your life. And that's going to try to block you. They're going to, you got people that's going to pray against you. You're right, minister. You're going to have people that's going to talk, call you everything but a child of God. I've learned how to tune them out. I, you know, I, I, I've learned trusting in God. I don't have to worry about what you say about me or not. Am I right about it? I have a friend, they have his name all over everything, but I talk to him sometimes and tell him, just stay prayed up, watch who you be around, learn how to put your trust and faith in God. Am I right about it? We got to learn how to put our faith and trust in God and not in man. But I hope that I encourage you, I just want you to know that you got to put off the old man and learn how to walk in your new. That's it, take off your old man. We got to take off those things that are not like God. Am I right? We got to take off filthiness. We got to take off those things. We got to take off those old garments so we can put on our new garments. Uh, yes, sir. I'm looking for that day when Jesus comes and says, we got a long white robe waiting for us. We got a crown that we're going to put on our heads and we're going to walk with Jesus. We're going to talk with Jesus. We're going to pray with Jesus. I'm going to even sit down at the table and eat with him. Am I right? We're going to pray with him. See, we know that, that down here on earth, it's time to practice that. We got to practice the way we live so that we can make it to see Jesus. Because I, I want I want to stand at the gate. I don't know about y'all. I don't want to go to hell. It's hot. I I don't want to go to that place where demons and devils and everything is down there. But 
you know, I, I want to go to this beautiful place that they say the streets are paved with gold. Uh, can I get a witness? There's a man there that knows everything. He knows all. I want, when I get ready to stand at the gate, I want to hear him say these words right here. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You done your work. Echo no more shot. You done your work. You prayed. You 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 been a Christian. You walked. Yes, you did. You had some heartache, but he gonna tell you that. Come on in, my good and faithful servant. Come sit at the table with me. I got some work to do for you. I, I have a few gospel singers that I usually look up to that have gone on. Well, everybody here know Mr. Rainey. Yeah. Mr. Rainey probably had some things in his life way back, way back when. But I looked up to him as being a father figure in my life. Because Minister Rainey would sit down with me and tell me, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that. He teaches us, when you get up to sing, don't try to impress everybody. That's what he said. He said, that's not what it's about. He said, I look at you as a young man you know, you're going to have trials and temptations, that's what he told me. He said, but let your ministry flow. He said, don't let people come in your life and try to destroy your ministry. Don't let them destroy your music ministry. He said, you got to keep on pushing. You got to keep on moving forward. You got to do the will of God. That was a man that was in, that was a man of integrity. Can I get a witness? Mr. Rainey was a man that can teach you any and everything about music. He can also teach you about life. He taught me some values. When I began to get my first apartment that I had, he taught me, he said, young man, you're going to have bills coming your way. But he said, you can make it. He said, if you trust in God. So I, I said that to say what? You got to learn how to put your trust in God. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and knowledge him, and he will direct you. How many are going to trust him today? How many are going to trust him in spite of the pain and in spite of the, in spite of the struggle? We still got to believe in God. I believe that one day we all are going to get to see the Savior's face. Well, if we live right, if you're not living right, that's on your own. We got to learn how to put our hope in God and not in man. I come to tell you tonight that whatever your situation is or whatever you're going through and you're dealing with a lot of temptations and you're dealing with life, you're dealing with everything and it's just like there is no way. Just look to the master. Just look to the king. There's this lady in Greenville that has a ministry called Look Up and Live Ministries. we got to learn how to look up. Don't look down, look up. We got to look to the hills for which comes our help. Can I get a witness in here? We got to look up and live. We got to live in order because the steps of a good man are ordered by God. Am I right about it? How many of them we got to have, we got to order our steps in our work because we got to let Jesus lead the way. We got him. We got to let him be our God. We got to let him be our shield. We got to let him be our fence. We're going to have trials. We're going to have tribulation. We're going to have troubles. We're going to have to cry sometimes. We're going to have to moan and pray. But we know that there is a God somewhere. There is a God that you should put your faith and your integrity and your trust and your life in. I just want to encourage you today to take out the old man and just walk into your new. Get up on your feet. Come on, get up off your feet. I just want you to just step out in the aisle and just step into your to your new life. Come on, just step into some new things. You want God to move in your life. I dare you to step in them right now. Step into your blessings. Step into God's will because he will lead the way. Can I get a witness in here? We got to step out in God. We got to put our faith in God. It's time to step away from the enemy. It's time to step away from those things that are not like God. We got to walk in the will of God. How many of want to walk in his way? Because we have something new God has all things new. Come on and put those hands together. Give God some praise in this place. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Putting out the old. Right. Walking in the new man. That's right. Amen. If he was preaching back there, it made me examine myself. 
And that's what the word does. It cuts you. Right, right. That's exactly what it does. And it right. made me examine myself. Because in order for us to walk in the new, we got to shake off those. Right. Yep. Hallelujah. Give minister a hand. All right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand in this house. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Praise the Lord and honor our bishop, first lady, also minister of the room. Put your hands together for them also. Hallelujah. So many things that he talked about. If we examine ourselves, it hit us. Amen. One thing about God's word, it hit us first. Amen. And then it hits you all. But we like to say that we thank all of you for coming. We're going to go ahead and do our offering. If you have anything, you can just walk up here and you can put it in. Amen. So I don't forget again like last night. Amen. But, um, amen. Since you got a mic back there, I think you just give us a song back there while you're back there. Amen. I'm just going to set it right here. You just walk your way up here and put it in the bag. He's getting the mic and he's going to give us a song. And after Bishop give us a song, we're going to ask that Pastor Mitchell, if you have anything that you'd like to say, you are welcome to do so. Amen. We don't want to overlook you. Amen. After Bishop finish, we'll let Pastor Mitchell have her say it. We'll get this, well, we won't do a benediction until tomorrow, but we'll let her speak after Bishop LeGroom, and Amen. we'll let you speak after Bishop. Amen. Amen. After, 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 after a good message like that, man, we ought, to, we ought to go ahead on and just praise the Lord, right? Right. Amen. 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 We ought to just go on and praise the right now. Amen. Come on in. Listen, what I want you to do is just put your hands together and we're just going to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Oh, yeah. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Oh, yeah. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me.
right here just to give God a dance and a praise. Oh my God. Hey! tonight and, and we've just been blessed for being here and, and like I thought when to get a cold and feeling kind of down and sniffing carrying on but I just took my little act myself the devil said suppose you go to sleep in church but the devil is alive yeah. all right oh my God in God's house he will keep you much alive bishop my God thank God for first lady amen for you all you this here of the household of faith and all the babies they are somebody Amen. He says, Suffer the church, come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Yeah. My God, he loves us one and all. Yeah. Amen. We go home praying tonight and come back looking for another miracle. Yeah. Look for God to take us high because we don't know what tomorrow night is going to end at. But we come to be a blessing to revive and, and to be a blessing to somebody else to get saved. Yeah. Now, it's not too late. Yeah. Amen. We'll lead and depend on Jesus. Every step of the way. Let's tell God thank you one more time. Thank you. 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 Oh my God. I feel it. I feel it. My God. Don't see no bitches. I wasn't feeling this good before I got here. But come on in the house of the Lord. You come on in the house. I'm going to enjoy this. Pick yourself a liver. Whatever you need, God come. Thank you. Y'all give my pastor a hand, amen. <laughs> if there anybody here that's been encouraged by the word and uh, as Bishop, is it okay to do altar call? He said, go ahead. So is there anybody here that your life has been rough, it's been tough, and you didn't know which way to turn, and I might have called out some things tonight. If I were you, I would step out wherever you are tonight. You might be burning.